Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. In this episode, well, we're already getting back to, again, showing you a little bit about my day. So right now it's uh, 12 noon and I'm processing another video. Now this video was actually processing all night long, all night long. But literally when it was at 99%, it had a brain fart and I had to start the whole thing all over again. Oh no, God! So, you know, I, I, at five in the morning, I wasn't gonna, you know, reset the whole thing and do the whole thing. So I just decided to, I woke up and, and start doing this. Now, again, another main reason why I'm, getting, why I'm getting a new computer, because it's like, this is just one of the videos that I'm posting up. You know, this is one of the videos from the Oaxaca trip. And again, it takes like six hours to process. It should not take that long. It's just that my, computer is not what it used to be all right so as you guys can already see you have know, got the new home office already coming into into play here all right we got one of the monitors we're gonna see if we can put another monitor either here or there um we got the old laptop we got the new computer coming in we already got some speakers we already got a bunch of things i'm very happy very excited in fact let me give you a little bird's eye view of the office as you guys can see see we switched it up you got the green screen you got some lights fix the fan I mean, you already know fam, you already know what we're doing out here. We're making things happen. So, I decided, well, let me start processing the video today. I mean, at this time, because I have a bunch of other things to do. And so, if my computer is being used at 1,000% capacity, well, it's going to force me to do other things. Like, here, let me show you what I've already done. So, let me show you what Kristen's doing. We got Gizmo there. Ah, <laughs> she's like, no, why are you filming me? But she's making uh, kefir. Kefir. Kef? How do you say it? Okay. And that's basically probiotics. So a lot of you guys might take, um, <clears throat> you know, some of you guys take probiotics, some of you guys don't. Um, we make our own, all right? So we make our own kefir. I don't know if I'm saying it right, probably not. That's like the Bulgaros, I guess the, I don't know. I don't know how to say it in English, but. Anyway, so long story short, She's in the middle of the process. She's now literally harvesting the, the kefir. And so that turns into like this yogurt type drink that we'll drink later. And uh, actually we drink it every single morning and it helps again, create, you know, your probiotics uh, in your stomach. It's really, really good. Just look into it. You'll see what I mean. Some of you guys might take things like, uh, like your cult or you might have you know other things that you you'll drink or you'll take you know what i mean um in order to help with your probiotics prebiotics all that stuff so you know this is something that's definitely helped me a lot helped her a lot um with our stomach issues you know basically everyone has stomach issues these days with all the crap out there that's how we can drink you know you know the mezcal the wine you know uh, these are for me not for gizmo um you know all kinds of uh Alcohol. I got alcohol everywhere. Look at it. Look, by the way, look at all the alcohol I have. All right, we got more up here. All right, this is like Korean. We got sake. We got Cuban rum from Cuba, literally. We got Jameson from Ireland, <laughs> and all kinds of stuff. We got more wine in the fridge. Anyways, you would you would you would swear we're a bunch of alcoholics, but we're actually not because if we were, they will all be empty. <laughs> anyways so all right so one of the things i've already done is i clean this out so we take turns you know what i mean you know basically you know cleaning this out a lot of times christian's the one that takes care of this um area um but again you know today i had time i was like well whatever you know it's already like 95 degrees outside so let me uh let me just clear this out so i cleared this out um christian's been working on already starting to work on this slowly but surely all right you know, we got, that's our aloe tree from the last uh, house. You know, that's from, you know, one of our viewers, you know, um, that literally left this tree to us. Man, we were still living in the old house a long ass time ago, before we even got married. And it didn't even have any leaves on it. Look at it now. So shout out to you guys, all right? Shout out to James and Candace out there. Hope you guys are still doing all right. We love you. We miss you. Um, and yeah, you know, we're, we're still working on this slowly but surely. Um, you know, that's, you know, part of the, I don't know if you guys can see it there or not, you know, but we're, we're working on the whole, um, you know, organic farming situation, you know, when it comes to, uh, uh, building our mulch, building our, 
you already know what we're doing there. We just, we just throw all our scraps there and it helps the dirt. So eventually we're gonna start working this with time. So yeah, you know what I mean? Uh, no laundry today, you know, just hanging, uh, you know, the the towels there. We, we got no no laundry, we already did that. We had a problem with this, we had to fix. Um, we, we got that fixed, you know, there's all water leaking from this thing. You gotta get it fixed. We already got that fixed and all that stuff. So um, yeah, so the back is all clean. All right, um, we got the kitchen, you know, Christian's working in the kitchen. I got some chicken out. We're gonna make some sort of chicken. These are the dirty dishes, you know, we're, we're working this morning already on certain things. I gotta get my bucket ready. I gotta add some uh, water and cleaning materials because now let me go show you what I'm gonna go clean. So while that's working, while I'm working on that, um, this is, by the way, Gizmo's favorite chew toy. I just give him my old clothes and he, he, this is his favorite. We give him all kinds of toys and he just, he likes to play tug of war with me, so. We added this. This is terrible. Are you just, it's not as good as it was advertised, you know, for the, for the mosquitoes. So if you're living out here, I highly suggest you get something, you get some sort of mosquito net thing. But this thing's already broke and messed up. You can tell it's not my forte. But I did put this one on here, you see? And this is working, bam you know bomb diggity so it's a little windy i'm gonna fix this a little bit here but yeah long story short mucho better so i mean i kind of started to clean, keep this door closed until i fix this again but that's my mosquito situation but anyways out here i don't know you guys cannot probably tell but uh this is disgusting all right this is horrible gizmo you know yeah you know he runs amok here and this whole thing is disgusting so i got the hose out you know we were able to get a, a hose out here with pressure um i'm about to get the, the bucket filled with liquids you know um chemicals and you know bleach and all that shit to clean and disinfect this whole doggy area here um and then christian's starting to to work on this here so we got plants you know some that were dying and we're we're now reviving them here um others you know that we replanted others that we bought and then so on and so forth so she's got herself a little you know i forgot what this is called in uh in english as well it's called un huerto in spanish but we're getting wordy on that so you know basically now what i'm gonna do is just open these gates and get the cleaning so all right guys let me stop yapping all right and get the cleaning you can already tell i don't want to clean but i have to it's a bit of a workout totally worth it so let me clean this and once i'm done i gotta head out to the oxo i gotta actually go get something real quick so you know you guys can come with me and uh you know we'll continue the rest of the day so let me get to work and i'll see you guys when i'm done with that all right guys so now it's time to head to the store so before we do let me show you a little bit of what i was doing before uh started filming again so look look notice that i have one two hoses here and they're attached with some duct tape there's also like an attachment for the hoses but yeah so that thing came loose and i had to like reattach it all right because um as you guys were you know watching earlier i cleaned the front i'm gonna show you again in a second and um that's how we do it so basically remember the water pressure is like a situation out here so we were able to hook up some water a water pressure system to the house very cheap and uh but it's only in some of the house so here you know what i mean like there's a lot of water pressure that comes through here and so basically the only way to get water pressure to the front of the house is to attach two hoses all right and make it happen all right so now let's get to the rest of the day all right what else i was doing so let's uh check out the kitchen a little bit we got some sweet potatoes in there roasting away we still got a little while to go and um some chicken remember the chicken that i showed you earlier okay well i already got it seasoned and marinated in it and all that good stuff so when i get back i'll start cooking that at some point you know you'll see me um show you uh exactly what i did there you know just uh, bear with me see patience patience hey buddy see we got we we put a little something something on uh mr gizmo hey <laughs> now he looks extra cute and uh let's check on the computer oh my god jesus well it's about four hours all right so 420 it says there but i would say four hours well check this out one fan two fans three fans all going at full blast all right in order to cool this down as much as humanly possible in 95 degree weather outside uh, in order to get this thing done hopefully it gets done before um the podcast because i got a podcast in a few hours what time is it i don't even know what time it is it's uh 
3.15 and uh, we got the podcast. Well, now I gotta be ready at 6.45 because of the time change. Mexico hasn't changed uh, daylight savings yet for another three weeks. So yeah, it's a whole hassle. But anyways, all right, let me uh, point the camera forward and let's get the hell out of here. So here, in fact, let me show you out front. Now there's a reason I got the door closed. I'm trying to keep Gizmo, you know, behaved and away from, you know, nice and clean. All right, so you got the hose over there. See, all the way through. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Anyway, so um, but yeah, and everything's nice and clean and sparkly and uh, It smells good. All right, so let's get out of here guys. All right, so Christian's inside the house She's keeping and hit her and Gizmo are keeping the house in check Wow, you know make sure my pants stay on <laughs> While I go to the store real quick. All right with you guys. All right, we're gonna go real quick to the store and uh, So join me. All right, so one of the things that I kind of want to talk about um, as we walk over to the store is the fact that man Me and Christian feel great, you know me and Christian feel amazing, but uh, let me reiterate. Let me uh, I guess uh, explain that a little bit. What do I mean by feeling great? Well, you know me and her we're not feeling that good, you know um, For a while now, you know, what I mean, I mean basically you guys you guys were here during 2020 and you guys have been here through 2021 and beyond then Man, come on, who the hell out there is really feeling themselves or feeling great or feeling wonderful? So, you know, it, wasn't no, it was no different for, for us. And uh, we just, you know, we just thought it was a zomb the zombie apocalypse. We just thought it was like, you know, all the, all the regular things, you know what I mean? That we tell ourselves these days, you know, as to why things are, you know, why we're not feeling ourselves or whatever. And, uh, hola, como esta? <laughs> so, basically, when it wasn't until we got back from Oaxaca when we got back from our Oaxacan trip we realized oh shit wait a minute now I get it we just needed to get the hell out of the house like really get the hell out of the house so you know we have been taking trips you know we've been to the beach we've, we've gone out taking a little mini vacations we've done a whole bunch of things but man we really really did need a humongous change of scenery like a complete and dramatic and drastic change of scenery um and after we got back, I mean, again, long story short, you know what I mean? After we got back, you know, the first few days were a little weird, you know, being here back home at the house and things like that. But now as each day comes about, it's like we have a brand new vigor for life. We have a brand new fire in our belly. We have a brand new, man, we just, we're just doing more and more and more. And uh, we feel, again, rejuvenated. We feel reborn. We feel amazing. And so, you know going to a lot of things that are going on in the world you know there's a reason why they're trying to keep everybody at home <laughs> there's a reason why they don't want people to gather there's a reason why they're doing a lot of the things that they're doing and it has nothing to do with what they say it is it's, it's never is it never is uh, has anything to do with that it's always something else and so in this case it's that you know what i mean the fact that you know they're trying to break us down mentally they're trying to control us you know it's just doing a pretty good job you know from what i see um with a lot of people out there and so on and so forth because if they can you know control your thoughts control your your mind they, they control you that's it i mean it's as simple as that and so you know that's kind of like where it's at so after we took our trip you know we got to see so much with our own two eyes that was the complete opposite of what every everyone else was saying you get what i'm saying like we, we you know like a lot of the misinformation got dispelled immediately my god you know what i mean holy shit you know what i mean that was such a rejuvenating thing um to see that you know we weren't so crazy you know for thinking the way we're thinking just because we were in a location where there's so many people thinking a certain way and we're the only ones that don't think a certain way you know what i mean and that's it you know what i mean simple as that and um you know one thing that i have been saying is the fact that you know everything that's going on now you know what i mean right right now at this point everybody has their agenda there's so many people out there that never that, you know they were not having a good time with their before the virus situation that you know there's there was tons of people out there that hated their lives hated the direction they were going hated everything about everything and so when you tell these people that already hated everything about their lives hey 
we're gonna go back to normal. They're like, fuck that. Why do we wanna go back to normal? This is great. I get to sit at home. I'm a hero for staying at home and being lazy and doing nothing. I'm a hero for taking government checks and government handouts. I'm a hero and I'm actually something and I'm actually getting, you know, get time to, I don't know, play video games all day in my underwear and get paid for it. And I could go on and on. And there's just so many people with so many agendas out there that that's basically, basically why we're still at where we're at. I mean, there's a lot of reasons, but that's a major reason. You know, they've, you know, they've been able to, um, you get what I'm saying, tap into that. And um, it's sad and unfortunate, but that's the reality. And that's where we're at. So, you know, when we got out and explored and went to go see another part of Mexico and just another part, just anywhere but here, we got to see, oh, wait a minute. You know, and um, I don't know what it was. And I don't know if it was just hanging out with all those artists out there, hanging out with other, other Mexicans that thought exactly like how we thought, by the way. See, I got this shirt over there. All right. Um, as a guy, you know, is right behind me, you know, wearing his mask in his car by himself. That still drives me up the wall. And I will still call people out on that. You know what I mean? I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? At this point, you know, it's beyond the whole virtual signaling. It's like literally, um, I want to show everybody how much better I am than you. And one thing I noticed too, the only thing that's different about Merida, about Yucatan than everywhere else is the fact that we have a curfew. But other than that, you know, we were out, we, we you know, we go out, we've been uh, on dates, we've been out on, on, you know, around town at night on the weekends and, uh, you know, sure, it's not as fun, it's not as cool and it's not as amazing as it is in Oaxaca and other parts of Mexico, but, you know, at least, again, everything's up here, you know what I mean? If you know that you're free, well, then you're free. But if you keep telling yourself that you're not free, well, then you're not free. And as simple as that. So, you know, us going on our trip, us dealing with the airlines, just basically everything that we went through on that trip and beyond literally prepared us. Um, so when we got back over here, I mean, now we're kicking on all cylinders and kicking ass. But anyways, I digress. So I got to go in there real quick because I got to buy something um, that I need for the cooking process. And, uh, and in the meantime, I'm going to show you what I'm cooking for dinner. You know, might as well just show you a little quick something, something. And then once you're done watching that, well, I'm going to show you guys. And we're going to keep finishing this uh, conversation on the way home. And, uh, and that's it. Whatever else comes to mind here. Um, but yeah, guys, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, um, at least for me personally, I'm growing. I'm changing. I'm going through a lot of uh, metamorphosis, just like a lot of people out there. Um, and you guys are watching it, you guys are seeing it, and um, and I hope you guys are enjoying the ride, and I hope it's encouraging you guys to do a little bit of the same. Because, uh, you know, I'm gonna leave it, hopefully, if I remember when I walk back home, but, you know, just to talk about the simplicity of like, uh, you know, me and Christian were talking about how we, how do I say this, like, we know people from our past, from like 10, 15 years ago, and they would see us today and they wouldn't recognize us. They would recognize us, but they wouldn't recognize us because of how much, how much change we've had in our lives. But we would recognize them immediately because of how little change has happened in their lives. How much they've stayed in that same exact spot for 10, 15 years without even moving while we've lived lives, life after life. You know, we've done so many things in, just in that same amount of time. And um, I'm sure a lot of you guys can resonate with that as well. So I'm gonna let that sink in for a little bit while I go in there. You guys enjoy a little bit of the cooking and then uh, you know we'll see what what's in my mind on my brain on the way back all right all right guys so we're finally home let's get some cooking done so it's gonna be super easy meal today um the sweet potatoes are already in the oven you guys already saw them earlier and now we're gonna pull them out and uh work them and in the meantime i'm gonna heat this up okay so let's get this on fire all right we got the fire going all right so let's get this nice and hot and we got the chicken over here waiting. All right, ready to get cooked. It's a very simple meal today, very healthy. We're trying to get back to eating healthy here. All right, so in the meantime, let me show you the sweet potatoes. Check out these, here, check these out. You see how they look? So basically all we did is I washed the potatoes. Um, I perforated them with a knife, all right, to get some of that steam out. See like the burnt, you can see like the burnt uh, sugars there. Cool, right? extra yummy and that's it so again this is super easy we're gonna do this real quick real you know together so basically you see how the thing uh, wash your hands first okay obviously they see how it just comes off and it's super hot and steamy you might not be you might be able to see the steam or not but the hotter it is the easier it is to peel 
but again, it's not for everybody. I got reptile hands, so it helps me, okay, to peel a lot easier. And I'm just peeling a little carefully so I can show you guys. But this is still hot, okay? This just came out of the oven, literally. Okay? So that's it. We're just going to peel this back a little bit. Okay? And then throw it inside the bowl. See, super, super simple. Look at that. See those, those are the burnt, burnt sugars there. So that's just flavor town, all right? Burnt sugars. And so you can mix this up with anything. You can add all kinds of things to this, okay? You know, you can add some vanilla, you can add some sugar, you can add a bunch of things, but if you really want to be 1 million percent healthy, don't add anything. You don't, you, don't, you don't need to add anything. This already has enough seasoning, you know, from the potato itself. In fact, the only thing I would add here, the only thing I would add, okay, is a little bit of salt. That's it everything needs salt okay so this is a potato so just add that salt that's it but that only then you saw like a little bit you don't need as much salt as you would traditionally use and like i said you don't need to add as much salt as you would traditionally add to this and then that's it you just mash it you get a wooden spoon and look see nice and soft So we got mashed sweet potatoes and again you can add a bunch of things to this but if you're adding sugar you're adding cream you're adding butter you're adding you know all these things are not really necessary i'm not going to tell you that that's not going to make it taste good it's going to make it taste awesome but this is so good on its own that you don't need to add anything now these are sweet potatoes from mexico from the yucatan so maybe since they're a little bit more organic per se they're good on on their own with just a little bit of salt you know maybe the gmo um vegetables from the u.s or other parts might not be so good and you might need to add all that extra stuff but the reality is, is that's it you don't need to add anything and this is again full of vitamins full of antioxidants full of this is a power food this is a super food all right and that's it done easy all right super easy we are done look at that all right so now we're gonna cook this all right let me see if i can uh I think you guys can see there. But basically, yeah, I get this super hot. I had to take it off the heat because it got too hot, a little too hot. And so we have two types of oil here. We got peanut oil and we got sesame oil. We got a little bit of peanut, so let's just go with the sesame. So why am I using some sesame oil today? Well, because or Asian, you know, like a little Asian inspired oil instead of olive oil or something else. Well, because the marinade here that I use for this, the marinade, is basically, um, oh man, sorry, I interrupted myself. Anyways, yeah, the marinade is basically um, orange juice, lime juice, orange juice, lime juice, salt, pepper, ginger, okay? So I'm trying to add as much as I can in there without adding the liquid. I'm trying to fry it up.
And that marinade is still really, really good and yummy, but I'm gonna put it to the side. If I need it later, I'll add it later. For now, I'm not gonna add it. Okay, so as soon as I put in that cold chicken from the fridge, it brought the temperature down a lot. So we're gonna cover this up and let it get to temperature. And in the meantime, I'm gonna clean up and uh, I'll catch you guys as this, you know, cooks away. Okay, so as you guys can see, we got this on high flame and basically um, all the liquid that came from the raw chicken, all the liquid from the marinade, everything is uh, cooking off, all right? I did not add the extra liquid. So basically all I'm doing now is just continuing to cook it at the same time, you know what I mean? Like um, I'm, I'm getting a piece of chicken, you see I scrape it, okay, up against You know, to get all that flavor, keep tossing it, all right? And that's it. And once more liquid, you know, gets out of the dish, you know, once the dish starts getting a little bit more dry, then we add some more oil and we fry it until done. Right. There you go, guys. That's basically the finished product. So there's the chicken, here's the sweet potato mash, and here is my sexy ass. <laughs> and there's the finished product. We got the chicken, we got the sweet potato, and we got like a nice little cucumber and avocado salad with a little lime, a little cilantro, some yumminess that uh, Christian made. And uh, that's what we got. Some nice, healthy, yummy dinner. All right, my god, this is taking forever. It's already been stuck at 100 for like a minute. Seven hours later, literally seven hours ago, I started this. This isn't even one of my longest videos. And yet, here we are, still waiting for the final confirmation that it's done and processed fully. Yes, yes, yes. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. Yes, let's check on it. I think it's ready. Yeah. Here we go. It works. It works. Yes. And you guys wonder why I need a new computer. Anyways, thank God it's already on its way. All right, on with the rest of the episode. Just wanted to show you. <laughs> wow, well, I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, you know, watching uh, me cook a little bit uh, since uh, I don't have the cooking channel anymore. I mean, I still do. I still have the cooking channel. In fact, it keeps growing and people are watching it and people keep telling me, hey, when are you gonna make more content when I have time? In fact, we're gonna discuss that in a second. You know, it's part of uh, what we're discussing now. But um, yeah, at the end of the day, um, yeah, I just wanted to show you a little bit of my, uh, the whole cooking thing because I just keep getting request after request after request for that. Um, more cooking content, so that's all you're gonna get for now. <laughs> but uh, another thing, you know, another thing out there that's actually helped me and Christian, well, at least me, me personally, not Christian, but me personally, that's helped me deal um, with a lot of the insanity going on you know, everywhere, you know what I mean? Uh, besides, you know, getting away, literally getting away from, from the insanity for a while and, uh, you know, going doing some touristy stuff or just doing something, you know, doing anything, doing something normal, okay? Um, whatever the hell that means. Uh, was doing some DMT. Um, you guys know, I do DMT from time to time. I like psychedelics, I'm, I'm, I'm into all that. And, um, if you guys you know have been you know you guys are habitual followers of me you guys know that uh you know i did dmt not too long ago about a couple weeks ago um and my god <laughs> my god you know what uh what a life-changing experience that one was i mean they you know a lot of these uh trips usually are but my god this one this last particular one was uh next level and um you know just a little quick thing on dmt long story short you know what i mean you do it 
and it helps repair um, things in your brain. You know, the, the connections that have been lost and gone through age, through time, through use, you know, uh, you know, whether it's been concussions or, you know, heavy, heavy life use or heavy use of any kind. Uh, you know, those are the, you know, things regenerate on your body all over the place, but the one thing that doesn't regenerate are your neurons, you know, your brain cells and shit. So, until you take DMT. It's actually an antioxidant, anti it's, it's a repair of the brain, okay? Long story short, but it doesn't really start working until afterwards. So basically, let's say I did DMT last night, not until a few days later that all of a sudden like the repairing really starts to happen. And um, as each subsequent day goes on after that, things just get better. So with that being said, that's one of the main things that's also helped me deal with a lot of the things that are going on now because the more you do psychedelics, especially strong psychedelics, like something like DMT, and, the, and when you, every time you come out of it, you, you really start to realize more and more and more every day that everything that's going on is fucking bullshit. You know, all of these things, whether it's about politics or whether, you know, you know, racism, you know, all the bullshit. Well, you actually realize, oh wow, wait a minute, all oh, this is bullshit, you know? So, and it's hard to describe. I could sit here all day trying to fucking figure, you know, describe it. But at the end of the day, it's like, it's a feeling. It's a feeling you get. And I think you guys have been made fully aware of it because you guys see um, the content that I'm creating. In fact, it's not that it's getting worse, it's getting better, but it's different kind of content now, you know what I mean? Completely different kind of content on all my channels, all across the board. and. Uh, and that's the thing, why am I able to do that? You know what I mean? There's a lot of reasons, you know, why, you know, people think I'm able to disconnect from one and go to the other. But the reality is, it's just that as I grow, as I grow mentally, as I grow um, through experiences, I grow, you know, basically, you know, get, go through this life. I'm slowly but surely realizing, and again, doing things like DMT and other psychedelics make you really quickly realize what's really important in life what's really important in life and everybody has different important things to them but one of the things that i realized that is the most important thing to me is my life like basically literally my life you know the life that i'm living now the life that i have so for me it's more important to by the way so you know whatever you're thinking about whatever it is whether it's about the mask whether it's about politics whether it's whatever the hell you're then your neighbor whatever it is all that stuff is occupying space in your brain so since it's your brain and you're the realtor all right and that's your real estate you're the one that really gets to decide what's renting space up there and um, again, you know what I mean? Are, are you charging rent or not? You know what I mean? And vice versa. So there's so many things that live in everyone's head all the time that live up there rent free, constantly fucking with you. And you, you constantly allow that to, to, to happen. And a lot of the times, you know, we can't even control it. But like I said, you know, when you do something like a DMT or what have you, all of a sudden it's, uh, it's a lot easier to control these things. <laughs> um, because again, once you wake up from your stupor or whatever, you realize, oh shit, wait a minute. Why is this shit even in my brain? Gone, you know what I mean? And then you just really start concentrating on something that you've always wanted to do, or something that's really important, or something that's actually gonna benefit you or help you or, and vice versa and all this stuff. And all of a sudden you're able to, you know, brush away all this trash, all this crap, all this toxicity, literally clean out your brain and, and make room for all the things that are actually, you know, are gonna be good for you, you know, gonna be useful, gonna help you, gonna, you know, gonna, the things that you want, the things that actually you want, whatever that is. So for me personally, um, I realize, you know I mean, I've been realizing, you know, like I already have everything I want. I literally have everything I want. I could stop making videos right now and just live my fucking life and I'll, and I'll be the happiest guy on the planet. You know what I mean? Literally. Um, but I, I know myself and, I, and I've been down this journey many times and I know that I can't, I can't just stop doing this. Like I can stop for a while, for a little while, but at the end of the day, if I stop completely, like if I'd stop from doing anything completely, all that's gonna do is just depress me and make things even worse. So that's why I still pick up the camera from time to time. I still make videos from time to time, not daily. Um, I used to make various videos per day, but now it's like I make videos whenever I have to make videos, you know, whenever I feel like I need to make a video, whenever it's right, whenever I wanna make, you know, just so many things like that. But more importantly than anything else, besides realizing what's important out there, besides me and my life, but the people in my life, like Christian, like Gizmo, 
like so many of you guys out there, which will be remain nameless for now, <laughs> but you guys know who you are. These guys are very, very, very important to me. And why is that? Look, I mean, this might be a little TMI, but I, I feel like I have to share it because it's, it's something that's uh, kind of like, uh, I didn't think it was bothering me, but it is bothering me a little bit. But you know, just like the, uh, like literally the other day, I had some family members on Facebook, <laughs> basically, you know, hounding me. So when are you coming back to Miami? When are you coming back home? When are you this? When are you that? When are you? And I'm like, you know, trying to be nice. You know, when I'm in private conversation with them, I'll tell them exactly what I think. They know me. You know, I don't, I don't have to make any bones about it. Um, but in a public forum, I'm not going to be fucking putting our, our family stuff out there. You know what I mean? So, you know, I just kind of like brush it off nonchalantly. But, you know, basically, you know, I mean, if you want to go digging for it, you can find it yourself. I'm really trying to just go around it because I'm, I'm not trying to be putting anyone out there or anything. But I, the reason I'm bringing this up is I know a lot of you guys fit into the same category as me. Uh, where basically, you know, your family doesn't want to see you per se. Your family just wants you or your family or your friends, but basically your family, which is what hurts the most. You can tell your friends to go fuck themselves. But when it comes to your family, and, and then you know you realize like oh wait a minute you don't want to see me you just want me to go out there and cook for you literally that's what you're writing in the fucking comment you know you don't even care if i show up or not in fact you're not even inviting me to your house to have a party with you you're inviting me to come over to your house to cook for you or to you know what i mean to do something insane for you like that and it's like do you not know anything about my life? Apparently not. Do you not know anything about, you know, um, how much I've removed myself from that toxicity? Apparently not. Um, and if you do, apparently you don't care. And so, you know, and it's like many family members that do that kind of stuff. And so, you know, to me, I just laughed it off. I said, yeah, sure, no worries. Uh, I'll be in Miami soon, <laughs> you know? But the reality is, it's like, why the fuck would I ever even want to go back? You know what I mean? Honestly, I mean, the, the few people that I actually care about that live out there, They've already come to visit me various times. So I don't ever need to come back, you know, go back. And again, go back to what? You get me? What, am, what exactly am I going back to? You get what I'm saying? Ah! What exactly am I going back to? You follow me? Like literally um, a family that wants me to go back to serve them or to act a certain way, you know, to act a certain way for them in order to get approval from them and it's like bro i mean apparently you guys just don't know me anymore like i don't not only do i not need your approval but i don't need anyone's approval you know i've been not needing that for a very long time but not everybody in my family and not everybody out there thinks the same way and uh that kind of bothered me a little bit and it hurt a little bit but at the same time it made me realize you know again just going back to everything that we're discussing as to what I said earlier, you know, about how people might be disconnected from you 10, 15 years. And, uh, you know, they might have been fucking, you know, right now millionaires are doing better or, you know, or worse, you know, driving a, a beat up old car or, or bicycle. But at the, re at the end of the day, they haven't really changed much. They basically stayed the same, whether they got richer or poor or whatever. When it comes down to it, they're, they're the same person mentally. They're the same person, period, in the story. And they're not going to change and they don't want to change and they're trying to get you to change because they don't like you know um anything about their life you know what i mean or whatever reason and so you know they don't even want to hear about how awesome you're doing all they want to hear is more about you know um when are you going to stop playing that game and join us back here in misery and it's like bro get out of here so anyways i just wanted to get off that off my chest because i wanted to come all the way out here to get the ice cream bruh one of my favorite places in my neighborhood. So, as I'm here, I'm gonna take this the opportunity to end this episode. Even though I kind of ended this episode on a weird uh, note, but is it really? Oh, it smells so good. Oh, it's that tree. Oh, well, I gotta get some of these for Christian. I'm gonna take some back. She's, these smell so good. I don't even know what the hell they're called, but I know what they smell like. Oh yeah. See, that's why. That's why I came out here. That's why I had to talk about that just so that I can come out here, find this tree so I can get a little piece and take it back to Christian. And the ice cream, and the ice cream. <laughs> All right, guys, so with that being said, I'm gonna get the hell out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, today's little journal, today's little rant, today's little talk, today's little walk, um, today's little peek inside my life. Because I, I sure as hell enjoyed recording it for you. I sure as hell, hell am enjoying my life and love my life and 
whenever when I do these, it's not just to show you how much my life is awesome, but to show you how much your life can be awesome too. And um, and hopefully encourage you guys to, you know, take life by the balls and finally make that change you've been needing to, to make for a, for a long time. Or at the very least, if you've already made that change, you're enjoying the content as entertainment because, you know, I watch other YouTubers that have already made it and, you know, they're just out here doing this. So, <laughs> all right, guys, I got to get out of here. I am melting, okay? And I need ice cream now. <laughs> so, with that being said, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit the bell icon, but more importantly than anything else, please stay awesome. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the support. Thank you so much for listening to the podcast. Thank you so much for, you know, hanging out on the travel channel. Thank you so much for even, again, even watching the cooking channel while I'm not there. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get back to cooking soon. <laughs> guys, thank you so much, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.